night, Kitty Allen was involved in a car crash on Evans Bay Parade in Wellington. She was taken into custody and held at the Wellington Central Police Station. She was released at around 1am around this morning. She's been charged with careless use of a motor vehicle and refusing to accompany a police officer and summons to appear in court at a later date. Uh, you'll note that the charges have now been confirmed by the police. They differ to those contained in my statement this morning. The information in my statement this morning was what was provided to my office by Kitty. An infringement notice has also been issued for excess breath alcohol between 250 and 400 micrograms. The police commissioner advised the police minister that Kitty Allen had been taken into custody around 10pm. I was advised shortly thereafter. While her actions are inexcusable, I was given information that she was experiencing extreme emotional distress at the time of the incident. My initial concerns last night were for her immediate safety and well-being. It appears that some of her personal struggles came to a head yesterday and uh, were contributing factors in this incident. I spoke to Kitty the first thing this morning just before 7am. I advised her that I did not believe that she was in a fit state to hold a ministerial warrant. She expressed remorse and had already uh, sent me a message just before that advice, um, indicating that she intended to resign. She understood that, that retaining her ministerial warrant was untenable, especially for a justice minister to be charged with criminal offending. Kitty is now heading home and will be taking time to consider her future in politics. I recently provided Kitty with the opportunity to address some of her, or to address her mental health issues. After taking some time out, she told me she was ready to return to work. Those who saw her last week in the house and here in the theatre launching the Ram Raid policy would have observed her at the top of her game. Last night's incident, however, is evidence that there are not always quick fixes when it comes to mental health and things can, clip, uh, can flip very quickly and without warning. The best thing for Kitty right now is to focus on her whānau and her well-being and to be away from Parliament. I'll confirm the reallocation of her uh, portfolios later this afternoon. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.